let's go Time I roll and don't look up fine And I run and hope it'll be mine And for the relay race for the bouquet They say, can you go marry mine? What's up guys, welcome to another how to play video. In this video we will do the my favorite ADC, Clint. It's one of the strongest ADCs at the moment. So the pros and cons. The best thing about uh, Clint is he has a very strong poke with his uh, passive ability. That's one of the strongest late games. It is very long range because of passive. There's two slows, the, the first ability and the dash. And uh, he looks really, really cool. The sad thing about him is that he... Uh, has a very uh, weak early game. The settings I use are shown here. You can make a screenshot and uh, copy the same settings. So for the item build, the starting item I always buy is the jungle item. Because it gives a lot of extra XP and you will be always uh, a couple of level as ahead on the enemy. For the full build you can see in the screen. I think this is the best build. I have used it a lot and uh, I really think this is the best build. So let's take a look at the abilities. Here you can see the passive. Every time you use an ability, it will pop a laser and does uh, damage in a straight line. First uh, spell ability does uh, the smoke and uh, makes 30% chance that the enemy miss out attacks. Second ability is a dash. And the last ability, the ultimate, does shoot a grenade, you can see here, and uh, you can pop uh, the passive with it. So the early game strategy, what uh, I almost always do. At first you just have to clear the wave. If the enemy starts the jungle, they will lose the minions under tower and you will have an XP and the gold lead. So first you take the little minion here in the jungle. Because you have the jungle item, you uh, you'll have uh, more XP, so it's good for the late game. Then after the jungle minion, you can uh, clear the wave again. Don't just ignore the enemies, it doesn't matter, and go to the red buff. If you do this fast, you can be in time for the next waves to become come to your turret. Here just uh, clear the uh, red buff as fast as possible. Be sure to take it, don't let the other guy take it. And after that you can uh, clear the wave again. So for the team fighting, the positioning is very important. As you can see in a team fight, I stay far in the back because that's the best thing that Clint can do. I just let my team tank all the damage and uh, do damage from the back as you can see with my passive. So next ability, or uh, next team fight, you can see uh, how my position is again. I let uh, this Belmont tank all the damage and he dies. After that I just uh, go back so Mia can hit me uh, only Yun Zhao. Then uh, I can kill Yun Zhao and after that I can kill Mia. Ravela goes in here too, but uh, I dodge the abilities. And get a quadra kill. Positioning is really the key in team fights because you are so squishy. Here I let the tank, the door tank everything. I see an Italian's here, so I go back and uh, yeah. When you walk back, there's only a couple champions or enemies that can hit you instead of uh, tanking. So here, see, I stay far in the back again. My team gets ultimate, they get all the damage. I can do free damage because I stay here. So my team dies here and I get stunned because I didn't went back. But uh, I know I'm very strong, so I can just kill them. It's all about how strong you are and how fat you are to uh, to be aggressive or not aggressive. So here I know I'm very strong. I I walk back so the Yunzhou can't hit me because he's a melee champion and uh, I get a pentakill. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you uh, learned something about how to use Clint. If you do, uh, please drop a like on the video. Be sure to comment too. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe to me if you want to see more content and more guides. Because I will be doing more how to play videos. Guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.